this is this video is for Blythe Academy uh, for the projectile motion assignment so uh, the sport I chose for this assignment was bowling and the first example of parabolic mo uh, parabolic motion in um, bowling I found was the way the ball curves along the lane and the best equation I chose to represent this was y equals 0 0.01 bracket uh, x minus 6 and a bracket start a bracket x plus 6 end of bracket and the way that that could represent the ball curving along the lane or sorry the reason I chose a as such a very very low number is I don't like I only needed the curve to be very very slightly because there's not a lot of room in uh, in the lane for it to go side to side so it just it needed to be a very thin a very slight uh, curve and then I chose the x inter intercepts to be make negative 6 and positive 6 because I just needed to widen that uh, opening and make it longer sorry and make the um, uh, curve curve even longer just the slightest curve possible. Uh, the next and the other example of parabolic motion I found was the way the ball can bounce. If you toss it, it will then mess up and bounces. Uh, the equation I chose for this was y equals negative 0 0.05 start of bracket x minus 4 end of bracket start of bracket x plus 4 end of bracket um, the reason I chose negative 0 0.5, sorry, 0 0.05, was, um, just, I, obviously something doesn't bounce like this, um, so, or it does, but, um, I chose it, so, it, uh, the parabola, would, the parabola would look like this, um, and I also chose 0 0.05 as such a low number, Again, just to make a very, very slight curve. But I did also make the uh, x-intercepts for both negative 4 and positive 4. So just, I don't know, just to make it more look like a bounce. So it's like a little up. It's just a little curve upwards. But uh, it's shortened So because you can't get something that just goes... It goes like 50 meters so it's just a little bump up and the last um, thing I the last example of parabolic motion I have is when you throw the the curve of your arm when you throw the ball um, and I chose the equation I chose for this or made for this was y equals 0 0.8 uh, sorry 0 0.08 uh, start of bracket x minus 2 uh, end of bracket start of bracket x plus 4 um, the reason I chose 0 0.8 as the starting as the a value is that um, I just again wanted a slight curve but this one would have the most drastic curve out of all of it be out of all of them because it's just once you think about it it's just the most Thing with the most curve you're going to throw you're like this not just a little like that so it just needed to be curved very slightly and i also chose negative uh or sorry positive two as the x-intercept and uh negative four as the x-intercepts because i wanted to offset the axis to symmetry just because to make it look more like because when you throw a bowling ball, you don't, you start with your arm like way back up here, but you don't release it with your arm up here, you release it down here. So just made it, make it look like it's more, you're releasing it down lower at the, at the Y intercept as opposed to releasing it all the way at the other X intercept. Uh, and also I just like those two to make the curve a little more less dra a little more drastic but not at the same time thank you that'll be all